What's up ghouls, it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm filming for you the get to know me tag. Like I said in my last video, lots more subscribers recently so the channel is growing, there's more people here, I'm so happy. So I thought I would do a more personal type video, um, so I'm doing the get to know me tag. So it should be pretty fun. Um, oh, I don't even, my appearance right now. Like, I like my makeup today. I feel pretty cute with my makeup today, but my hair! I hate it. I hate my hair. The colour is just so I don't feel like me at all. Like, I feel loads of people are going to see this thumbnail and be like, she's not got enough, and then, like, not watch. But you can only be goth to be cool or nice looking, but you know what I mean? I think it doesn't help that my makeup is not like alternative and creepy and I'm wearing like well it is it's drop dead but you know I don't look super spooky so I'm sad anyway on with the video so I just found I literally just googled get to know me tag questions and it's on youtubesociety.com so I'm gonna go for that <laughs> so what, what is your middle name my middle name is Alicia um it's from Alicia's Attic. I don't know if that's like a group or a person. I don't know, but my mum used to really like them or her or it. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'll link the song down below if I can find it of the one song. I think it's like Alicia Rules the World, something like that. I don't know why it wasn't my first name. I, th I think my dad picked my first name. I'm not sure. I don't know, but yeah, Alicia. Number two, what is your favourite colour? Um, initially I would say black because I love black, but I also am really feeling green. Like a lot of the time, if I'm doing makeup, I am geared more towards green than I am black. Or like fashion wise, I would say black, but makeup, I would say green. But then I also love pink. I don't really know, either black, green, orange, or pink. Yeah, depends what it is. Uh, number three, who was your first best friend? Um, it would have been either a girl called Katie or a girl called Amber. Um, I met them at Toddlers, which is like a thing before preschool. Um, it's in like the local like community centre or church or I don't know what it is. I think it's technically a chapel. I don't know. Um, so my mum used to go there and then I met Katie and Amber. My mum was friends with their mum and they lived like the next road along from mine. So. Um, we went to the same, we went to different preschools but we went to the same infants and juniors and then I went to the same secondary school and college as Katie. I'm still very much in contact with Katie now but I don't see Amber as often. Um, we went to like different secondary schools and different colleges but they're both still lovely, still get on with them so yeah. And number four, how tall are you? I'm just below average. <laughs> I'm five foot four and a half. The average in the UK is five foot five. So yeah, five foot four and a half. Pretty small. Sad times. Uh, number five, cats or dogs? Kittens. Cats. Cats, cats, cats. Like, I love dogs and I love cats. But I have my baby right here. Oh, you're coming to be in the video. Did you hear me say cats? She's like, put me down. Are you a cat or a dog person? She doesn't like either. She doesn't even like people that much. No, she does. She loves Jake. She's a Jake person. She loves Jake way more than me. Um, right, number six. Funniest moment throughout school. To be quite honest, I hated school. Um, I liked infants and I liked juniors. Um, I kind of liked the beginning of secondary school, but towards the end, I hated it. I hated college. Um, university's tolerable. But, yeah... Um, my funniest moment in school probably would have been in year 8 when I was still happy to be at school. Um, I We had this science teacher who, she it was her first teaching job, she was really young and she just wasn't, she couldn't control a class and we were mean, we were mean students, we were bad and it was like top set so you would think we were like mature and ready to learn. And, no, I mean some of them some of them were. Some of them were indeed, but most of us were not. We were assholes to this teacher. We were bad. Um, and she was very meek and quite shy, so we would just 
do whatever the hell we wanted. Um, and then obviously our grades started going down and then we were all like, it's because our teachers so rubbish, blah blah blah. Basically you could get away with doing whatever you wanted in this class and I was friends with a group of girls who were popular, popular girls and so I was like, I'm just going to go along with it and do whatever. So I don't remember what the lesson was on but basically we're in this classroom and she's trying to, like the woman's trying to teach and we have to go outside for something. And um, we just keep getting up and prattling about and like dancing around the room and being stupid. And she's like, right, come on, everyone outside. We're going to go and do a practical. And we go outside and we're just piggybacking and being twats. I think there's pictures of it on, on my Facebook now. So we're just twatting around, being assholes, dancing around. She can't get a word in edgeways. She can't teach because we're just pissing about. Everyone's watching what we're doing. We're being twats. She goes, you don't want to be out here? Then go back in the classroom. We're like, yeah, all right. So we just go back into the classroom. We're pissing about. We're writing all over the whiteboard, dancing around. And at the time, I was like, hilarious. Like, I'm loving my life. But now I think about it, it probably wasn't that funny. But at the time, I did really enjoy it. So I would say it was probably my funniest moment. Not necessarily funny, but a nice not nice <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, number seven, how many countries have you visited? Not that many to be honest. I have been to, so live in the UK, I've been to France, Belgium, Germany, Spain, Turkey, did I count the UK as one? Wait, France, Belgium, Spain, Germany, Turkey, I'm pretty sure that's it, I've been to five countries. Um, are you in or have you gone to college? Um, I'm at university now, which I assume is college is university if this is American. Yeah, it's American. Um, yes, <laughs> I'm in university now. I'm just about to go into my third year. It's the summer before third year, which is my last year. And I'm studying fashion styling and I don't like it. I think I've done the wrong degree, but I'm here now, so I may as well see it through. Um, I don't hate it. I enjoy some of it but I don't think I would have a career in the industry. I'm not a fan of the industry. So as of now, I don't want a career in the industry. Um, number nine, what was your favorite or and worst subject in high school? Um, my worst subject, subject would have been either maths or science. I don't have a very logical brain. My brain is more scattered and more creative, creatively. I don't know, I gear more towards the creative kind of thinking patterns than I do logical. So maths and science, like I did well in them, I got all A's, but I hated them. I hate the subjects, they bored me to death. Um, my favourite would have been either photography, loved photography, or German. I really enjoy German for some reason, I don't know. Um, number 10, what's your favourite drink? Alcohol wise, porn star martini, because you get a little shot of Prosecco with it too so good so good <laughs> and it's just like fruity and there's vanilla vodka so i'm all about that um but non-alcoholic fentiman's rose lemonade which is vegan i didn't even know that but it's vegan i love it number 11 what is your favorite animal um in the whole world it's an amor leopard i think i've said this before but i love amor leopards they are my favorite and they're like so nearly extinct which is like the saddest thing in the whole world um yeah, I adopted one at my local zoo, at Marwell Zoo, and she's my baby, her name's Kaya, and I love her. Um, number 12, what is your favourite perfume? Um, this is so lame, this is so fucking lame. Pink Friday by Nicki Minaj. I have it right here. I like, on one hand I'm embarrassed, on the other hand I'm like, no, it's a good perfume. So I used to wear it when I was in like my Kardashian phase. It's really fruity and I would, I would say like a bit tropical. Um, you wouldn't kind of guess necessarily from looking at me, not today, but most days, that I like those kinds of perfumes, but um, I wore it on my holiday to Turkey and whenever I smell it, I just think of like a really nice holiday and a really nice time, spending time with my family, so I really like it. Um, 13, tea or coffee. I hate tea, I can't drink it, I've tried so many times, everyone at work drinks tea like their life depends on it and I can't stand it, it's just gross, like, no, I don't like just normal coffee on its own, I love a vanilla latte, I will drink a vanilla latte for every day for the rest of my life, which I do, but anyway, or like a vanilla frappe, a mocha frappe, um, pumpkin spice latte, I just, 
I could probably just about drink a latte with sugar, but yeah. Although I have um, cookie dough coffee and that's nice. But yeah, I'm just difficult. <laughs> uh, 14, what would you or have you named your children? I named my kitten Pumpkin. <laughs> um, I definitely do want kids. Um, I'm not entirely sure on the names. Like I want to do like a theme so like they all have like their names beginning with the same letter and I really 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 love the name Aria so I kind of want to do a whole A thing and Jake agrees with me on Aria and Austin but he doesn't like Amelie like I want two girls and a boy that would be the dream so I want Amelie, Aria and Austin but he's not super set on Amelie so I think we'll have to pick a different name but then I don't know if I like any other girls names beginning with A so yeah like I my biggest thing is I hate most boys names like I just can't stand them they're either like too plain and I'm not a fan or they're too like weird and I'm not a fan or I just know someone with that name and I can't stand them so it ruins it for me yeah um, number 15 what sports do you play or have you played as a kid I was quite into sports um, I was a, like a huge tomboy when I was younger like my older brother was my idol so I just used to do whatever he did so football a lot I played football a lot when I was a kid I was on a football team for a little bit, it was called S&D, but it was like just for eight and nine year olds, it was like S&D eights and nines, um, and it was only because my brother played for like the older kids S&D, I don't even know what S&D stands for, but I played for them for a little bit, like I never got a kit or anything, I didn't stay long enough because at training all the, the parents used to like shout and swear at the kids and it terrified me so I left. Um, I think I partly went because my mum used to buy me McDonald's jelly on the way home as like a bribe for walking home. I don't know if anyone remembers when McDonald's did jelly but it was so good. Um, I also used to play cricket um, which is like an influence from my dad, he loves cricket and we had like a quick cricket team in year six so I used to play that and I played netball for a couple of years um, in secondary school and that's it, I think that's the only sports that I played. Like outside of like normal PE. 16, what is your favourite book? Um, I always say Model Land by Tyra Banks. It's such a good book. Um, I feel like on the surface it's cool because she uses loads and loads of like metaphors and similes that are re re related? related to the beauty and like makeup industry which I really really love. Like not the brightest lipstick in the caddy, like I, don't know, I just love it. But also because like under the surface it is like a really powerful book and there's a letter that the main character writes at the end that's addressed like to the reader and holy shit like that letter damn I like typed it out on my phone like in moments where I'm like damn like I can't do this I read it and I'm like I got this so yeah if you haven't read it I recommend it it's actually a very good book uh 17 who are some of your favorite youtubers um I'll just read out the ones that I like properly love um I quite enjoy Julia Zelg her videos are quite funny. I like her Nisi. She used to be Never Shout Nisi. She's pretty cool. Um, Biohazardous Beauty or Tori Victoria. Love her. Um, is it Atley? Atley? I don't know how you say it. She's kind of cool. Um, Evelina Forsell. Love her. It's Black Friday, of course. Jade the Libra is great. Um, Lilitha's Bones or what's her name? Ava. Um, Sarah Hawkinson. Um, Snowy, um, I did used to watch Christina Corruption a lot but I don't think she's uploaded recently because I don't remember watching any of her videos recently. It's Likely Makeup or Geordie is probably like my top right now, love her. Um, Morgan Joyce, Riri Phillips, Sebastian Co Columbine, is that how you say it? love her. Gothic Sprite, although she hasn't uploaded in so long. Toxic Tears, of course. Unicorn Pies. Dre Renane. Love Emily Boo. She's so sweet. I love her. Um, Kelly Eden's pretty cute. Lady Valentine. And like Kat Von D's beauty channel thing. Love it. Yeah, I think that is all of the ones that I watch most frequently oh and Belle Jordan I've recently gotten into her and I'm currently or well, not currently I'm filming but before filming I was watching a ton of her videos so she's pretty good too 
Um, right, number 18, what is your favourite movie? Um, the Craft, I think I talk about The Craft a lot. My favourite movie tends to change a lot because I love Cars, the film, so good, love it. I love The Craft, like I've said, I love Edward Scissorhands, I love um, Halloween Town. Um, like there's just like a big series of, not series, but like a few films that I'll just watch over and over and over and over. So yeah, any one of them. <laughs> um, are you single or taken? Taken, I'm in a relationship with Jake and in October we will have been together for two years and like we live together and I'm just going to spend the rest of my life with him so yeah. Number 20, what's your idea of an ideal first date? Um, you want something where you can like talk and get to know each other but not necessarily like super super awkward so maybe like an activity is fun like you definitely don't want to go to like the cinema or something because you can't talk and get to know each other but like maybe a group situation can be good like I'm quite awkward when I meet someone for the first time so I need to be more like with friends meeting the person um, so like the first time like I met Jake on a night out but the, like the first time we like saw each other again after that there was like a gig so um, the pub that we go to for the gigs has like two floors so the gig was on the first floor or like ground floor and then first floor there's like retro video games and couches and stuff so you can just sit and drink um, so we met at the gig um, with a couple of my friends and then um, we decided to go upstairs and just like sit and talk more so definitely something like that um, 21 how many girlfriends or boyfriends have you had um, right, see like you know when you're like in school and you have like stupid little like two week boyfriends, I'm not gonna like count that, so, five, and then Jake. Um, favourite memory from childhood, it would just be like stupid memories like playing pranks with my siblings, like growing up in a house with three other siblings was super super fun because it was just like never boring like I did play on my own a little bit but that's because no one wanted to play my games I just wanted to pretend to be a mum all the time with like bears babies anything I just wanted to pretend to be a mum and my sister would get bored and my brother obviously didn't want to play and then my older sister was like too old to play those games with me so I used to play on my own a bit but most of the time it was just causing chaos around the house um, I remember especially Saturdays my mum used to work at Asda so my dad was in charge and so he'd just like lay on the sofa and like watch football or watch cricket or he was really obsessed with like poker at one point on his phone like not like proper like money poker just like a little game um but it was like way before that it was just like he'd like watch the football and the cricket and have a nap and stuff because obviously he worked monday to friday so those days were the most fun we were just left to like roam around the house do whatever we want and just be nuts so we used to pull pranks on each other all the time um i remember my brother, I was stood in the living room and I was walking towards my brother and you know the yellow page is like the huge phone directory, he just like flung it across the floor just as I stepped I trod on it and fell face first and like it was just too funny to cry like it was just too, like the timing was perfect, it was obviously like an accident but it was so funny or um, I was running up the stairs to get my brother and sister and they stood at the top and pushed the Christmas tree in the box down and just annihilated me down the stairs. Like it wasn't all just attacking me but like I've had my fair share of attacks too. Like I was playing Sylvanian families at the top of the stairs with my sister. I decided there wasn't enough room for her so I just like nudged her and just pushed her down and just carried on playing. Like we were very violent but it was very fun. Um, 23, do you speak any different languages and how well? I speak German, I did it for six years in school and then I do it occasionally on Duolingo which is an app which is really good if you're trying to learn a language, it's free and it's really good so I recommend that app. Um, yeah, so I speak it, I'm not fluent by any means, I'd say like conversational German, like basic conversational German. Um, do you have any siblings? Yes, so right, it gets pretty complicated. So. As for, we have the same mum and dad. I have my older sister, Kerry, she's 29. My older brother, Tom, he's 26 now, I think, 26. There's me, I'm 20, and then there's Casey, who is 18. 
Um, the only one who still lives at home is Casey, but she's going to uni in September, so it's going to be an empty house for my mum, which is so sad. And then stepbrother and sister wise, I have a stepbrother called Thomas and a stepsister called Holly. However, my dad isn't with their mum anymore, so I don't see them as often, which is sad because I love them. And then, as in half brother and sister wise, I have Quentin, who is transgender and he's lovely. I haven't seen him in I don't even know how long. And yeah. <laughs> so I have a lot. I don't see I like I mostly see my like full brothers and sisters. Um, because I spend most of my time like when I'm not here at my mum's and that's when like for family events for like Christmas and birthdays and stuff we all tend to meet up at my mum's so yeah. 25. How would you describe your fashion sense? Majority of the time I would just say goth but sometimes like today I just can't be asked. so I just wear big jumpers. I mostly like if I'm in the house not doing anything I'm gen generally wearing like Jake's huge pajama shirts and just nothing <laughs> just pajama shirts and that's it um if i'm going out out i'm like ott goth like i i'll post a picture now from when i went out on saturday so i just love to <laughs> go a bit overboard um but yeah generally day to day i'm just like just goth i guess um, what is your favourite restaurant? I really love Italian food, um, so anywhere like Scusi or Zizi, Prezzo, yeah, love Italian. Um, I also really love burritos, so my favourite place for burritos is Tortilla. Um, but I've also recently gotten into Roosters Piri Piri, which I think may just be in Southampton, I'm not sure, but they're like Nando's but a bit cheaper and they have more options so you could have like Lebanese, Mexican, um, chicken tikka, so yeah it's really good, I'm obsessed with roosters. Uh, 27, what are some of your favourite TV shows? I'm not going to list too many because this is already such a long video, but Pretty Little Liars is my all time favourite, um, so it's finished now but I will still rewatch it until I die, so good, especially the Halloween episodes, they're so good. Um, Teen Mum, Teen Mum UK, uh, Criminal Minds, so Pretty Little Lies and Criminal Minds are the only two consistent shows I've watched throughout the whole of my life, never missed a season, never missed an episode, I love them. In terms of like Netflix originals um, or just shows I've seen on Netflix, The Killing is really really good, um, Sky, The Leftovers was really really good, I got hella obsessed with that series. Um, yeah, they're just some TV shows that I like. I'm not um, 28 PC or Mac. Uh, we currently have a PC. Well, Jake has his PC computer because he used to game on there before we got a PlayStation. And I have a Mac like laptop. Um, eventually, we're going to sell the PC and get like a desktop Mac. I think A, they look better. B, I'm much more comfortable with Mac software. The editing software is better. Um, everything can just sync up and put like an iPhone, iPad and a Mac like laptop thing so it all just like syncs nicely. So now Jake doesn't game on the PC anymore, he's like all he would really do is browse the internet so he's not bothered either way. Um, so I think we're going to go for a Mac. Um, 29, what phone do you have? iOS versus Android. I have an iPhone, I think it's a 5S, it's really old and I think I'm due an upgrade soon hopefully because I'm so done with this phone, it's just so old and like you go into a store and you see really cute cases and none of them are for this phone because it's so old. Um, number 30, tell us one of your bad habits. Um, like a really, like, not cliche, but a really generic bad habit is biting my nails. I'm really bad for it. I'm trying to grow them but I'm not going to show you because they're like dirty and not nice um, because I've been at work. So yeah, I'm trying to grow them. I'm really, really trying to grow them because I keep getting acrylics but they're damaging my nails so badly that I'm just done with acrylics now so I'm trying to grow my nails. That is all of the questions. I'm glad I got through that. It took a while. I'm so sorry this video is going to be long and rambly but I just wanted to sit down and film a nice video especially while I have my cool little makeup. So yeah, our kids are asleep on my lap right now. I need to sort out going to my mum's because I told her I'd be there like an hour ago. Just going to pack up all the pumpkin stuff then I need to clean this fucking flat. Right, sorry I was so rambly. 
thank you so much for watching this video. Um, comment down below, let me know what you thought of this video and tell me any suggestions you guys have for videos because um, I want you guys to be more involved in the channel. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!